everybody! I'm Pam from the Nonfiction Department at the Hoover Library, and today I am sharing the books discussed at the last Insatiable Readers session that was held on July 18th. Insatiable Readers meets one Saturday morning each month to talk about nonfiction books. If you are interested in more suggestions and would like to attend a virtual Insatiable Readers session, please email me at the address included in the description below. Now, on to our books for today. These books were discussed at the July 2020 session, Tokyo 2020. This session was originally intended to cover both Japan and the Olympics, but due to the Olympics moving to 2021, we will also postpone our discussion of the best Olympic books until next summer. The first book that I'm sharing today is Be More Japan. This DK book published in 2019 is a unique guide that touches on everything you might want to know about Japan. It presents Japanese culture through the seasons and provides insights into all that Japan has to offer. And in true DK style, it includes lots of great infographics and photos. Our next book is A Geek in Japan by Hector Garcia. It was published in 2010 and revised in 2019. Packed with essays and hundreds of photographs, Garcia explains the Japanese language social values and daily habits, business and technology, the arts, and symbols and practices that are distinctly Japanese. Tokyo, Capital of Cool by Rob Goss was published in 2018. This book takes readers through the patchwork of districts and sites that shape Tokyo. The book delves into Tokyo's Edo era roots, its thirst to modernize and still maintain its traditions, its culinary heritage, and its vibrant youth culture. This book includes great images, especially of Tokyo's people and fashions. Rice, Noodle, Fish by Matt Goulding was published in 2015. In this innovative take on a travel guide, Goulding decodes Japan's food culture in this 5,000 mile journey through the noodle shops, tempura temples, and tea houses of Japan. This mix of food, history, and culture explores the country through seven key regions and is absolutely fascinating. Our next book is Yokohama Yankee by Leslie Helm and it was published in 2013. Helm's decision to adopt launched him on a personal journey through his family's 140-year history in Japan, beginning with his German great-grandfather, who worked as a military advisor and arrived in 1870. He defied custom to marry his Japanese mistress and to have a family. This is an intriguing history of Japan from a different perspective. Japan 1941 by Ari Hata was published in 2013 and was named a Kirkus Review's Best Nonfiction Book of the Year. This is a history that considers the attack on Pearl Harbor from the Japanese perspective. Our next book is A Beginner's Guide to Japan by Pico Iyer and it was published in 2019. Iyer has called Japan home for more than three decades but he admits that the country can remain an enigma even to long-term residents. In this book, he presents a number of glimpses into Japanese culture that are sure to fascinate those who don't know Japan and to remind those who do of its unique offerings. Samurai, The Last Warrior by John Mann was published in 2011. British historian and Asian specialist John Mann gives readers an account of Saigo Takamori, born in 1817 and often cited as the last samurai. In 1877, 
he led a rebel army of samurai in a last stand against the Imperial Japanese Army. Our next book is Japan's Master Gardens by Stephen Mansfield, and it was published in 2011. Presenting 25 Master Gardens, this landscape design book explores all types of Japanese gardens, from small courtyard designs to the open expanse of the stroll garden. A Manga Lover's Tokyo Travel Guide by Evangeline Neo was published in 2019. Manga artist and author Neo travels to Tokyo along with her mascots Kopi the Dog and Matcha the Cat to show all the sights the city has to offer. In a colorful manga format, she shows where to shop for manga memorabilia, she notes the best anime and manga museums, and she shares her experiences at a cosplay studio. With colorful cartoons and fun text, this is a great book for manga lovers. Our last book for today is The Bells of Old Tokyo, by Anna Sherman, and it was published in 2019. From 1632 until 1854, Japan's rulers restricted contact with outside countries, a near isolation that fostered a unique culture that endures to this day. Sherman's book follows various voices through the Japanese capital in this exploration of Tokyo. She looks at the history, she looks at memory, and impermanence. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this look at Japan and its history, culture, and people. I'll see you soon with some more Insatiable Readers book suggestions. Take care of yourself and have a great day. Bye!